In this tutorial, we will go over some of the features you will encounter when searching in Google Scholar. Google Scholar is a search engine that retrieves results from most academic journal publishers, along with some reports from research centers, government documents, and books. It's best for finding scholarly journal articles, not these other types of information sources. It's best to go to Google Scholar from our library website or to save Portland State University in your Google Scholar settings. To learn more about the settings option, see the video tutorial linked in the top right. Google Scholar is linked under the Research Tools and Collections tab on the library homepage. Once you've signed in, you'll get access to all the full text journal articles that the library subscribes to. Google Scholar does not have the ability to create complex searches like other article databases. The trade off is that searching in Google Scholar is simple and familiar to users. Let's do a quick search for rural family planning access. Type those terms into the search box and run the search. When you search in Google Scholar, you might get hundreds or even hundreds of thousands of results, or in this case, 2.9 million. That's because the scope of Google Scholar is very large. It includes all disciplines. Also, it's searching the full text of every item. So that means it includes results with your search terms mentioned, but that doesn't necessarily mean articles that match the subject of your search. It's also important to recognize how Google Scholar organizes its results. The results are not chronological like in other databases. In Google Scholar, they organize the results by how many times something has been cited, as well as what the algorithm perceives as relevance. The results you see on the first page might end up being quite old. On this first page of results, for example, the articles range in age from 1988 to 2015. The only advantage to the default result list is that an older article at the top might be a foundational article in that research area. However, you'd really want to cross-check that with other information sources to assess if that is the case, as a citation is not necessarily an endorsement. To bring more recent research to the top of your results list, use the publication year filter on the left-hand side. Let's use the since 2018 limit to show results of research published within the last four years. To get to the full text of an article in the results list, either use the find it at PSU link or direct PDF link to the right of the article title. You'll only see these links if you've connected Google Scholar to our library. Selecting the find it at PSU link will bring you back to the library catalog to access the article. Use the links on the right instead of clicking on the article title to avoid running into a paywall. The next feature is the automatic citation generator. Select the quotation mark icon under the article record to show auto-generated citations in a large number of styles. Always remember to check your citations before submitting them. They often have little errors that need editing. Note the cited by link. Once a research article has been around for a little while, other researchers might start citing it in their newer research. Selecting this link gives you a list of resources which Google Scholar identifies as citing the original article. Cited by lists are helpful because they're like reference lists. They give you a pathway to related articles and trace the progression of research. As for related articles, select this link to see a list of articles identified by the Google algorithm as related to the initial article. This concludes our introduction to the features of Google Scholar. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask a librarian.